Hi, I'm Marco Caracciolo. Welcome to Health News. Last week was held in Stockholm the 29th European Congress of Urology. The management and treatment of advanced prostate cancer is constantly changing and the advent of new therapies and enhanced understanding about the disease is leading to more patients being able to realize the potential of living longer and enjoy a better quality of life. Yeah, so we are living a very exciting moment because we have more and more drugs uh, to treat patients with castration-resistant prostate cancer. And especially we have drugs we can give before chemotherapy, new hormonal agents to delay time to chemotherapy, make them live longer and better. So really, uh, it is the time to speak with the patient, see what they're expecting from the treatment, and we as a urologist to learn how to give the right drug to the right patient. The topic of possible stem cell sources for reconstruction of the lower urinary tract is an area that clearly points to the future of reconstructive urology. Mesenchymal stem cells are useful not just in cases of urinary incontinence, but different new indications like overactive bladder and erectile dysfunction. Cells can come from bone marrow and be differentiated into multiple lineages like muscles and bone tissue through paracrine signaling. A new study presented at the European Congress of Urology shown that in patients with possible lateral nerve sparing radical prostatectomy, initiation tadalafil once daily treatment under routine condition, treatment satisfaction improved and patients show clinical important improvement of erectile function during the six month observation. Another trial presented at the European Congress of Urology in Stockholm reports for the first time that pelvic floor exercises can be effective in treating premature ejaculation in men who have had lifelong problems. The International Society of Sexual Medicine defines premature ejaculation as ejaculation within a minute. So, this was the last news. Goodbye.